Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family to the league and preview of Paris Saint-Germain versus Arsenal round of three in Ligue 1 Uber Eats. Play this Saturday 26th of August 2023 21 p.m. Central European time at the Parc des Princes. We're back at home. Here are the time zones for wherever you're living. If you're living in Lagos, it's 8 p.m. Los Angeles, 12 p.m. Mexico City, 2 p.m. London, 8 p.m. And obviously Paris, 9 p.m. Pause the video if you want to see your location. But obviously, the last game between the two outfits was that victory for Paris Saint-Germain. At the back of the Prince, Kylian Mbappé and Lionel Andres Messi and Vitinha being the goal scorers and having a really good game in that game. Even though Abdul Samad got a red card, unluckily for Arsenal, Paris Saint-Germain took that win and pretty much clinched the league and title in that game so Arsenal will be back for revenge for last season and obviously their recent game was a 1-1 draw to Rennes which is a really strong side one of the strongest sides in league and this season and so they haven't had an easy game they're sitting 14th in the table only one point picked up so far for them was Paris Saint-Germain just a bit above them with two points and they will be missing some players in this game but no key players it's Al Ayanoui, Kabot, Farines, Saeed and Poreba and here's their lineup for this game Brice Samba in goal, obviously, league and goalkeeper of the season from last season. They've kept their best defense intact. Gradi, Danso, and Medina. Same when it comes to the fullbacks. Frankowski and Machado still there. Abdul Samed and Diof is the player that plays it currently instead of Seko Fofana. And up in the attack, Sotoka, Fulgini, and obviously new signing, Elia Wahi from Montpellier to replace Luis Openda. And this is how their lineup will look. Obviously, they will still be playing the 3-4-3. Sotoka and Fulgini working really hard, pretty much making it sometimes even to a four-man midfield. So this is a deadly side, dangerous side. Even though they lost their captain in Seko Fofana and second best player in Luis Openda they've still kept their manager and they've still kept their core especially when it comes to their defense so scoring against Arsenal will be even more difficult than our last two games plus they will have Wahi and Sotoka who can cause damage to our backline better than Abu Khlal, in my opinion and obviously the ones to watch has to be Wahi, one of the top league and goal scorers from last season, going to Arsenal with their foundation, with their manager, with their offensive attacking football. He will be someone we need to look out for in this game. And I hope Skriniar Marquinhos do a great job on him. Coming on to Paris Saint-Germain, sitting 11th in the league and table. Very weird, very strange for PSG, but we've actually been in a similar position before. Uh, and it's not that worrying as long as we start winning games as soon as possible. And obviously our last game, the 1-1 versus Toulouse, we should have taken away the three points. We should have scored more than one goal, but one goal should have been enough if Hakimi wasn't a complete ass donkey as he is in every single game. And absentees for this game, obviously Kang Ying Lee, Mukiele, Kimpembe, Nunu Mendes, still none of them have resumed collective training. Mukiele, Nunu, and Kang Lee are doing individual training whilst Kimpembe is still in rehabilitation. And there's a question mark over Juan Bernat and Gonzalo Ramos if they will feature in this game due to them training indoors today and not with the collective side but nothing 100% and when it comes to Marco Verratti he has been training with the squad in every game but it's still unsure if he will be in the squad that will play against Arsenal tomorrow but when the window ends he will definitely be in the squad and here's the lineup for Paris Saint-Germain in this game Gianluigi Donnarumma in goal Marquinhos and Milan Skriniar as the two center backs. Ashraf Hakimi and Lucas Hernandez as the fullbacks. Vitinha Ugarte and Warren Zaire Emery in the midfield. And up in attack, Kylian Mbappe, Gonzalo Ramos, and Osman Dembele. As I said, I still believe Gonzalo Ramos will start this game, but we may see a switch where Asensio plays as the center forward in that focal line. But midfield stays the same, the defense stays the same, and obviously wants to watch again i i can't choose between kylian mbappe and osman dembele so i'm cheating a bit i'm choosing both what they did in that second half versus toulouse was exquisite exquisite mbappe with that threat dembele with that threat one on the left one on the right 
It would be so amazing to see them both start in this game against Axel. A tough competition as well. And obviously, Luis Enrique coming into this game, he knows the pressure is on him. He needs to get his first victory, especially against a great side like Axel, who came second in Liga in this season. Would be a big message to, to the French to Ligue 1 and to Europe. Was Frank Hayes, as we know, he's not a manager that's afraid. He will come into this game seeking revenge for last season's game and last game between the two our opponents. But funnily, I actually believe the result will stay the same. Paris Saint-Germain winning 3-1 over Arsenal, Kylian Mbappé with the double, Lucas Hernandez scoring as well, and Sotoka being the goal scorer from Arsenal. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your prediction for Paris Saint-Germain versus Arsenal? That's been it. Smash the like button as usual. Subscribe to the PSG YouTube channel. As always, halale, halale, bye.